This video was published by mbkpinternational.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the Guillotine XPC-19 Pro and replacing the fuse on the motherboard. If your fuse on your motherboard blows, what's going to happen is you'll have this power button on, but everything else will be dead. This thing will also be on as well, the on-off switch, and you can turn it on and off and it will, it will come on, but that's the only thing that's going to come on, the power. Everything else is dead. You can't do anything with the cut buttons. The, the display screen is off. And that's your fuse, and it's a two amp fuse to your motherboard. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to, want to re remove this, um, or actually the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to, want to unplug it. So unplug it from power, even though it doesn't have any power, it's still got power going through it. So unplug it, and now that's off. So once you unplug it from power, you can take this um, table up by removing these six screws first. You're going to want a short Phillips screwdriver to get under here. Just be careful that blade is still there and it's sharp. Don't cut, nick your knuckles on it or anything. So remove these six Phillips screws. I've already done that. And then just slide this table out and take it and sit it to the side. Okay, another thing you're going to need is a small flat screwdriver. You're going to come in here and here's your motherboard and there's the fuse box on it. It's usually a little easier if you unplug this, so I'm going to unplug it and get it out of the way. And then I'm going to use this, and I'm going to insert this into that slot right there on that fuse box lid. And just kind of pry it open. It'll just pop open for you. And I, there is no fuse in this. It's gone. I took it out to simulate that the fuse blew to show you what, it, what would happen. To, it would just be the, the power button was on. But here's a 2 amp fuse. And I'm just going to insert it in there, and I'll remove it too to show you. Okay, if it was in there, you're you're basically just going to use the same the same tool and just slightly pry up, go under it, and just slightly pry it up, pop it up, and pop it up like so. Let's come around to this other side here. I'm going to push it back in. You're basically just going to put this under it, and you're going to just pop it up like that. Again, make sure your this is unplugged from power because you can shock yourself burn out the board even and there's your fuse you can look see if it's blown or not but if it's got that where it's just the green line it's typically this fuse so you can put that fuse once you get a good fuse you can put it in back in there snap it into place close the lid on the fuse box plug this back in just make sure you get all four prongs you line it up perfectly like it was before and get all four prongs it'll be right up against this fuse box and you won't have a prong sticking out at the end just make sure it's fully on there it's as simple as that. Once you get that in there, you can just put your table back on. You usually got to lift up a little bit to get over this. I just lift it up a little bit to get, over, to get on top of this um, bracket here and push it forward. And then just get your six screws. And we're going to just start them all first. You just want to start them all, get them all started because if the hole's not perfectly lined up, when you're putting these back in, you can um, you can like shift this table around if they're just started. You know, you can shift it back and forth and forth and just slightly just to get the holes lined up and get all the screws started first, and then tighten it down. Go ahead and pause this while we put these. Okay, I went ahead and started all these screws, and then once I got them all in, started, then I tightened them all down. And the next thing we do is just going to plug it in. You see now it comes on everything, the green light and everything else comes on. So it's pretty simple if you've got just the green light on and, and your on off switch depending on whether it's, if it's off then that green light will be off too. So for the green light to come on, this has to be in the on, the on, the on off switch has to be in the on position or else it, it, it won't come on either. But if you power it up and the only thing that comes on is that green light then you know it's most likely your fuse to your motherboard and it's pretty simple to replace. Um, that's basically it. This video was published by MBKP International.